Dal is the most common staple food in India. Hi, I'm Shermi and today I'm making dal fry. For today's recipe, I'm going to use two types of dal or lentils. Red lentils and yellow lentils. Red lentils are called musur dal and yellow lentils are called mug dal. These are the most common lentils you'll find. To make dal fry, you can use one of these lentils, mixture of the lentils or any other lentils of your choice. Along with the lentils, we need onion, ginger garlic paste, green chili, tomatoes, turmeric, garam masala, dried fenugreek leaves and coriander for garnishing. Dal fry is also called dal tarka and these are the ingredients you need to make the Tarka. For the tarka, I have some ghee, cumin seed, some slit garlic, one dried red chili, Kashmiri red chili powder, and curry leaves. Curry leaves are optional. If you have it, use them, otherwise it's fine. The first step is to wash the lentils. You need to wash them thoroughly, and if you can, you can soak them for one or two minutes. I've taken a saucepan, and I'm going to wash my lentils in this, and I'm going to boil the lentils in the same pan. wash them thoroughly i washed it few times now you can see the water is quite clear when you're boiling the dal don't put too much water it will take longer to boil the dal needs to be covered with the water but it's not too much just you can see like this much i will add a little bit of salt and turmeric before i boil it Put it on medium heat and let it come to a boil. My dal came to a boil and you can see the gunk on the top. We need to take them out. Now cover it halfway through and let it simmer till the dal is fully cooked or soft. This should take approximately 15 minutes. Let's prep the onion, tomato and green chili. I will finally dice the onion. I'm going to also finally dice the tomatoes. Now you can see my dal is nicely softened. I want it to be a little liquidy, so I will add some more water. Yeah. I will now boil it for another one or two minutes, so it will thicken up. That will be the perfect consistency what I'm looking for. I'm showing you how to make the basic dal fry. You can add so many variations. If you want to add any vegetable, you can add at the beginning so that they boil together. Or if you want to make the spinach dal, you can add the spinach at this stage because spinach cooks really fast. My dal is boiled, now I will keep this aside. Now let's prepare the masala. So I'm taking this pan, it's big enough to accommodate all the dal. I'm going to heat it up and fry the aromatics. The pan is hot now. I will add some oil, around one to two tablespoon. My oil is hot. Now I'm going to add the onions. I will fry the onion till they are soft and light pink, but I don't want to brown them. Halfway through, I'm going to add the green chilies. The onions are soft, now I'm going to add the ginger garlic paste. I will fry it till I get the nice fried aroma of garlic. I can smell the nice fried garlicky aroma. This is a perfect time. I'm going to add leftover turmeric, little bit of red chili powder, mix them well. And I will add the tomatoes. And I will cook them till tomatoes are softened. My tomatoes are softened. Let's mix them well. I'm going to fry it for another one minute. Now you can see the oil is separating from the tomatoes. So this is a perfect time to add the dal. Now I will let it come to a boil. Then I will add few more spices. So you can see the dal is boiling. It took hardly one minute. And this is the time I'm going to add my garam masala dried fenugreek leaves and little bit of fresh coriander. Mix them well. Reduce the heat and cook for another one or two minutes. My dal is boiling. I will take it off the heat and make the tarka. To make the tarka, I'm using a tarka pan, but if you don't have, you can use any pan. Put it on the heat. My ghee has melted. Now I'm going to put the cumin seeds. Fry for a few minutes till it gets darker in color. If you don't fry enough, you will not get that earthy aroma. Now I'm going to add the curry leaves. 
take it off the heat because they are very hot now let it fry for a few seconds i will just add the chili powder at the end so that it doesn't get burned mix it well and then add to the dal mix the dal with the turka there you go yummy tasty dal turka is done garnish with some coriander so my dal fry is ready you can see that it's quite easy to make and you can make your own variation you can use any lentil of your choice you can also add any greens or vegetable of your choice the key thing is to do the turka dal fry is all about the turka dal rice is my comfort food we grew up eating dal almost every day so let's give it a try it smells so good Mm, it's remind me of my home. It's very tasty. Without cream, you get the creaminess from the dal and the tharka that take it to the next level. And you need the ghee and the cumin, that earthiness and the smokiness coming through so well. Perfect. And I can have it every day actually. I hope you make this at home. You don't need all the ingredients. You, you can make it with whatever ingredients you have. So if you have never made dal fry, give this a try. I'm sure you'll love it. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe and see you in the next video.